Hey, this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today I have a, a cool rig for you. This is what, in my, in my opinion, is the, the smartest beach fishing rig to use because it'll enable you to do more fishing and less rigging when you're out on the water. It does take a little bit of time up front, as you'll see in a second, but once you have it, once you have this built, it, it'll, it'll save, again, it'll save a lot of time because what the premise is, is that we have a, a really a core, right? We start with the core and that's gonna be the core. This is gonna never break because we purposely tie all the offshoots a little bit lighter. So 30, in this case, we have a 30 pound core, then we have 20 pound offshoots, 20 pound to the hook, 20 pound to the second hook, 20 pound to the weight. So that no matter what happens, right, if we get snagged on the bottom and we have to pull it and break it off, all we lose is the weight and we quickly retie back in action. Everything else is good. If we get a shark on this one, right, and breaks us off, then we're good, right? Even if it pulls it off, this is gonna be a weaker line. This is gonna be the breaking point. It's not gonna be on this 30 pound line. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and tie this rig. And we're gonna start with the bottom. So I just have the, the pre-rig sitting out here, ready to go. So we're gonna start with the bottom where we connect to the weight, and then we're gonna build up and go from there. So, so right now this bottom part, this is the main line. So we have a 30 pound core. As far as the, uh, the not to know here, this is actually just an overhand. All we need is just a basic loop down here at the end, and that's gonna connect to the, uh, the line to the weight. And so I just pull out about four inches of, uh, of line, right, just make a simple loop, and just do a double overhand, right? So just like a normal basic, the most basic of all knots, go through it once, pull it through, go through it twice, you're done. Simple as that. Now we have that loop. That's the loop that's going down to the weight. Let's cut off the tag. Might as well make it look pretty. And there, all right. Step one, we are done. Simple as that. So now, now we just need to go and build this, uh, this next, this next, the first tee, the bottom tee. And again, you can do it as far up or as far back as you would like. In this case, you know, usually do about, um, say maybe 10 inches or so up. And the knot to use here is just is a dropper, a dropper knot. This is a, again a pretty basic knot. I'll just show you how to do it real quick. And so yeah, get here down here about the line. And so to do it, this again, this is a, a, you're basically tying a knot in the middle of your line, which is a little bit different. But to do it, just kind of uh, make make yourself a loop, and then just grab part of it. And what you're gonna do is do twists inside the line, right? So there's one twist, do another twist, right? So now we're basically just doing twists there inside the loop, and we'll do it one more time. You're gonna see it. So I do about four to five twists, and then just keep you have to keep that middle section open. Right, so now we have the line twisted up. Here's the core loop. And now we have to take the core loop and go through the little opening that we have inside the twist. So I'm trying to do this where you can see it. So there's the line. Get a better look at it going through. So now my finger is in the main loop going through. And then we're gonna go ahead and start pulling it tight. And now let me just get some slive on there to make sure it goes nice and clean. And just go ahead and just let it, just let it have it. Right, so that's just a nice clean dropper loop. The reason why this dropper loop is so effective is because, again, it, it kicks off, first of all, it's strong, right? Just nice clean coils, but it kicks off this loop straight out. That's what you want. Again, we, at this point, we just need our offshoots to be away from the line, away from the main line. So that is done. And so now next, we're gonna do a loop to loop connection to this once we, uh, once we start dealing with the dropper line. So there we are. So now there's that loop, we are done. When now we just need to do that one more time, right? So we're just gonna go down, we'll just recreate this rig. I liked how this worked. I was out beach fishing and had a good, good day out there. And so just kind of thumb the spot that I want. So now for the second dropper loop, right? Same exact thing and I'll just go a little bit slower here. So just, I just, right here is where I want it to be. And so we're just gonna just double the line over, right? And then pull some a little, pull a little bit out. And then we're gonna start just twisting this line. So let me just get my, uh, get my thumb in there, All right? So we'll just do some twists. And so now at this point, now we start having some legit twists in the loop, right? So I can pull that this side open. You can see there's one twist and then I move that side. There's another, there's two twists. And so again, we just keep doing that. Keep flipping it back and forth, back and forth. And again, the more you do, the stronger it'll be. And so now I'll show you the one side, right? So now you can see a series of a lot of, a lot of twists going out this way. And I'm keeping this center part I'm, I'm keeping it open. And then I'll show you the other side too, right? Same thing, right? A lot of coils heading out there, but the center point is open. And so, all right, so now that we have the center, the center point open, now we need to get the core loop through it. So the easiest way is to basically just get, uh, make the, a point out of the center loop 
and then go through the little opening that we were keeping. And now we have it. So now, I'll just try to get my fingers out of the way. And so now you can see it, this is gonna be, gonna be firming up real nice. We get a little bit of saliva on it just to make sure it's good. All right, and so now I can just tighten down and it's gonna come just to a nice 90 degree offshoot, straight off the line, nice and crisp. This is a solid knot. So now, we've, now we basically have our, our main section, our main section done. And so the, what I do, so at the top of this leader, uh, this is gonna go off to your rod, right off to the main line. And in this case, I, will, I would use the FG knot and I'll put a link down below for that. But I would tie, this is the top of the leader and I would just do an FG knot connection there. That way that's a super strong knot. And that way, again, even if you get snagged, you, you do not have to worry about, about losing the center line of the rig. So you basically tie this one time and then it's done and you're good. And no matter what you hook into throughout the day, um, you, this center line will still be intact and all you have to replace are the little offshoots. All right, so now we're gonna start with the offshoots and we're gonna do the ones for the hooks first. And uh, what I like to do is, is, is use a loop-to-loop -loop connection on these and, and you'll see why, because it really just keeps, it, it keeps the line, it keeps the offshoots away from the, the main center line as, as good as possible. And so for doing a loop at the end of the line, it's called a perfection loop. It's a super easy knot and it's, it's, a, it's actually a pretty strong loop knot. And so how, how it's tied is just zoom in down here let's just get some nice clear clear backdrop is you just you double the line over right you make like a, a, a loop like a medium sized loop and then you make a smaller loop right in front of it right from so this is the first one behind the smaller one up front and then the third run you go right in between the two and keep it really tight and then and put pinch down on it and now you go through the first loop grab the second so you take the second loop over the third loop and under the first loop and you've got it. So we're going to show that one more time, obviously. So you, you, uh, you can follow along a little bit better, but there it's done. So that's a nice little, a nice loop knot, very strong. And, uh, and that is all that's needed. And so what we do is just cut off the tag in with our trusty salt strong scissors. And now we can get our little offshoot as long or as short as we'd like. I usually do about maybe uh, seven, eight inches, right? And so now to connect to the, the, main, the main line is that we put, we take the loop that we made it, the 30 pound loop through, or I guess we put the small one over the big one and then take the tag end through it. And there we are. Now we now have our loop to loop connection that is off the main line. So again, this is gonna keep that nice little T, right? So now we have two double lines that are shooting out away from the main line, which is going to make your offshoot stand out as far as possible. And again, right, 20 pound line, 30 pound line. So if we get in a tug of war with something too big, the 20 pound line is gonna lose, our 30 pounds gonna be intact, and all we have to do is replace this, uh, this one little offshoot. All right, so now final step, right, is just to get a hook on the end, on the end of the offshoot. In this case, I'm just using, a, this is gonna be for whiting, so a little small circle hook. I like the Orvis knot. It's just easy and, uh, and, and just quick to tie. And it's pretty strong. It's not the strongest out there, but how to do it, right? Go back behind the, the line, go forward. Now you made that little loop there. Go through that loop from behind. Now you formed another loop and now go through the second loop from behind twice. There you are, pull it tight, tight. There you are, it's real strong, small knot. And uh, again, just makes rigging a lot quicker and easier and doing a quick little knot like that. But obviously you can use the clinch knot, the uni knot, whatever, whatever knot you want. So now we're gonna do the whole thing again, All right? So we gotta build the, the top offshoot. So back to the perfection loop, All right? This is the key, the key loop. You need two, two loop knots for this, the, the dropper loop. And then this one is the perfection loop. So do our first knot, line going back from behind, pinch it, smaller loop in front, pinch it, Right, first loop, second loop, and now third, just take it straight through the middle of those two and pinch that, and now go through the first one from behind, grab the second one, and then pull it through. That is the perfection loop. This one's a little bit bigger. I had the camera right in my face, <laughs> but it worked. And, uh, and now I'll cut off the tag, All right? And now we're gonna cut off the amount of line we want. This is our offshoot and then we will connect it to 
our main line, our main section. Again, just a loop-to-loop -loop connection. You're just connecting the loops, and again, the purpose of that is that now this is just a nice T that's going to keep that line sticking way out, way out to the side, where you don't have to go buy those uh, those rigs, those metal rigs with the big old pins that do it. You can do it all with mono. Fish can't see this nearly as well, and it'll save you a lot of money and, uh, and a lot of hassle. Plus, you can customize it for as many or as few as, uh, as you would like. So now, we just have to put the last hook on there. Oh, drop throwing it around. Again, in my case, I, like the, I just like the Orvis knot. So we're gonna go from behind, go around. We made that loop, so we go through that loop from behind once. Now we made a second loop, and we'll go through that loop twice. One and two. Yeah, I mean, normally I, I usually do these in like seven or eight seconds, just a really quick knot. And again, not quite as strong as the uni or the clinch knot, but it's just super fast. And again, we're beach fishing, so we're, we're not gonna be having to, to really power fish out. And so that is a solid connection. So, all right, so now we have our double, our double dropper connection. Again, both of these, the offshoots are, are gonna be the weak point. So this, this center line is intact. This is the good center line. The last thing to do is just do an offshoot to the actual weight itself. And again, here's this, now we can get a little bit a little bit uh, lazier, a little bit quicker, so we don't necessarily need the offshoot anymore. So what I do is I just tie an Orvis knot straight here. I'll just do this real quick since you've already seen it. So round once, go through that second one twice. There we are, done. And then we tie a perfection loop at the end of this line so that we can, we can rig the weight, or we can take the weight on and off as needed. And so in this case, we want a bigger loop knot. So we're gonna start the loops a little bit bigger, right? So first loop, line come from behind, squeeze it in. Second loop forward, make it smaller. Third one straight through the middle of those. And now let's try to make this thing as big as possible. There we are, so that's plenty big enough. And we'll cut off the tag end. And now, we can, whether we want to use uh, you know, a traditional beach weight, obviously we can do that, but you can also can rig up just an egg weight, an egg sinker, if needed. Again, just pull it through, take the line over the sinker. And now that sinker is connected. It will not come off until you purposely take it off. And, uh, and that, so again, now we can, uh, we can change out sinker sizes, we can change out sinker types, and if the sinker does get snagged on the bottom, again, this is 20 pound line, this, everything else is 30 pound, 20 pounds gonna break, you get back everything but your weight, and then retie the weight and you're good to go off to catch more fish. All right, well, that's the rig. I just wanted to share that with you. This has saved me a lot of time over the years. It does take more time up front. As you saw, this is one of our longer rigging videos, but in my opinion, it's worth it, especially if you're in an area with a lot of sharks out there or even Spanish mackerel that are getting into rigs and, and tearing stuff off. Because when you build it this way, right, when you have these little offshoots that are, that are weaker and, and little, I guess when they're modular, that you can lose, you can lose a, a section of line and just quickly retie and be back fishing. You don't have to retie everything. Um, which I used to have to do before. Every time I had some sort of issue, I'd have to retie everything, and it was a big, big pain and a big waste of time. Whereas this way, right, whatever breaks, everything else is good, and then I'm back fishing again really fast after, after a quick fix. So that's it for now. Just wanted to let you know about this rig. If you have any questions, this was a little bit more technical, you know, leave a question down below. I'd be happy to help. And to see the FG knot, I'll put a link down below for that as well. That has been the strongest just, just line, so a mono or floral leader to a braid which is what I recommend for beach fishing. You can feel everything, and braid is just so much thinner that you don't have as much water drag from the waves. So if you're beach fishing, I highly recommend using braid and put an FG knot on the end of this. And, uh, and again, this will be a really good rig. You can catch a ton of fish with it. And uh, more importantly, you'll spend more time fishing and less time rigging when you're out there on the water. For those who are new to us, right, we're, we're saltstrong.com. We're an online fishing club. We specialize in inshore saltwater fishing. We have a catch more fish or it's free guarantee. So if you haven't yet tried it, 
highly recommend giving it a shot. And if you haven't yet claimed your lures, these are the Slam Shady Paddle Tails. We've done a lot of testing. These things have proven to work. And we're now offering a free pack to all fishermen, max one per household. So click down below. I'll put a link down for details. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Hope to see you again soon. Strong and wear the line today.